Welcome to another interview here at Electronica. This time I'm at the Norton Asymtech booth and I'm joined by Camille. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. Uh, usually when I'm here I see a lot of new dispensing equipment but this time I'm seeing a in complete line basically. So what are, what are we looking at here? So Asymtech has historically been very strong in conformal coating, especially in Europe. And usually we have a few different strengths some of which being our process controls and our selectivity. So what we have right here is a, a line concept that we're introducing. Um, so at the far end, we start with the lifter. We have our inspection, conveyor, our 940 conformal coating platform, and another lifter. And so we're really showing a few different things here. So going back to that closed loop process control, we're showing our inspection system, which is inspecting both the top and bottom side for conformal coating material. There's also a thickness sensor on there, which is taking thickness measurements. And part of the concept of this whole line solution is really also introducing that social machine aspect of Industry 4.0 to get some communication and feedback going between our two systems. So with the thickness data that comes from the inspection system, the idea is that the conformal coating system is able to detect a trend in what it's producing. So is the thickness increasing, decreasing, and then eventually be able to take that information, manipulate it, and adjust parameters so you get a consistent process. So another aspect of this entire system that is really great as far as a whole line is we're showing how efficiently you can use your floor space. So we have the idea of a modular concept. We have these five pieces of machinery in a line, but what you don't see is the theory of a return conveyor that goes underneath, which also doubles as an IR oven. So really you're taking you know, the equivalent of significant floor space and really condensing it by taking advantage of the smaller footprint. Essentially that cutting it in half. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you can see in the video over here, we have some little Legos that are moving around and condensing um, to really help emphasize that. I see there's a pattern pending sticker on this one. When, how long until we see this bad boy on the market? Uh, that is a very, very good question. Um, so at this point, this is just a, a general uh, concept that we're, we're introducing. Um, so there are actually a few different things that are going on and a few different things that are patent pending. Um, but some of the development for this is already is already started and in the works. I don't have a final timeline for you, um, but at least the starting point is here. Well, uh, we're closing in on the year end here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that 2017 has been for Norton and Syntec? 2017 has been a really great year. So here at our booth, we have a lot of new products that we're introducing and developing. Um, really trying to improve our capabilities and our product offerings for our customers so we have better solutions that we can bring to them and make them more successful with their process. So as an example to that, that feeds back to the selectivity that I was talking about at the very beginning, also one of our strengths at Asymtech. So on this system here, we have a triple applicator solution which gives you a lot of flexibility, but also here at the show in general, we're introducing our new spray applicator. It's our SC350 Select Spray Applicator. So the industry is already familiar with our SC300 Tri-Mode, which does a bead, a monofilament, and a, a swirl, an atomized spray for conformal coating. And really what we've done is we've taken the spray aspect, and we've really done a lot of research and understanding how atomized spray really works, so we can hone in and really create a spray pattern that gives you pretty clean, crisp edge definition thinner coatings, faster speeds, and really try and optimize the process and give our customers more control in the areas that they need it. Well, you seem to have a rather busy booth here, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I wish you the best of luck with the concept and the other releases here, and hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.